would like to give a thanks to Jedi141 and also more than four characters for the tags. We seem to have a very frustrating situation going on with this artist and YouTuber Mary Weathery. I will link her Twitter and her YouTube channel in the description if you want to check her out and show her some support. Here's what's going on. She has a tweet that says, A deviant art artist has filed a copyright strike on my YouTube channel because they drew a creeper design in 2016 with red eyes like mine. I wish I was joking. The original mob talker artist even responded to them and they're still claiming they own the design. What? So here is the copyright takedown notice, as you can see. Video title, Minecraft Anime Ender Girl. Video URL right here. Takedown issued by this person, whose name I probably won't pronounce properly, so I won't even try. And she gets a copyright strike for this. And as you all know, very serious stuff. It even says right here, you now have one copyright strike. If you get multiple strikes, we'll have to disable your account. To prevent that from happening, please don't upload videos containing copyrighted content. Uh, that you aren't allowed to use. The thing is, it sounds like she was allowed to use this. It sounds like this is fair use. Let's take a look at some more of these images. Seems like the person who issued the copyright strike, K, is now having discourse with Mary. Here's what it says. K says, Sorry, but this OC is mine. I wrote to Er Mao Wu about this. Mary says, It isn't. You don't own the concept of Creeper Chan. And using red eyes with green hair is normal. They fit well together as they are opposite each other on the color wheel. I've never seen your design before, but you didn't invent the Creeper Chan with hoodie design. Kay says, I did not invent the design. I've never said that. However, the design of the Creeper with green hair and red eyes, you find it even in my Minecraft skin as it's just by putting Lolly Creeper in Google. Full stop. They just admitted that they did not invent the design. They go on to talk about this Google search result thing, which I don't even understand what they're getting at. That's not the basis of a legal defense for fair use. I don't understand what they're getting at at all there. Anyways, Mary responds and says, My character is not a lolly and has nothing to do with your character. Neither me nor Mao have ever seen your character before until you suddenly decided to copyright strike my YouTube video, which contained none of your content. We simply used red eyes for her. That's it. You don't own red eyes. And Kay says, Okay, but this creeper girl, creeper chan, whatever, is mine. And that's absolutely not how this works works the next picture here is a set of messages tweets and uh since i don't know who these people are per se i don't really understand what's going on here like i don't know who aptx is and i don't really know who k is except for the news right now but it looks like uh my my take on this at least and again of course the image is on screen if you want to pause it and read it yourself and make your own take my takeaway is uh, this person aptx has done a similar character design as this alleged minecraft creeper this creeper chan and just talking to k about it because you know aptx doesn't go around copyright striking people like k does apparently so k then tries to justify why she or he or whoever they are why k has decided to copyright strike mary and the logic is just not there at all it's so not there that i don't even want to read these messages they're on screen again if you want to read them what k is saying makes absolutely no sense for illegal defense in my opinion and then Mary responds and says, Why are you attacking other creators for using the Creeper hoodie design when you yourself copied it? The only similarity between our designs is the hair and eye color and green hair is normal for a Creeper. Your character is way more similar to Kuppa than to my character. Mary provides an update and says, Turns out there's a design created before them that has every single detail identical to theirs, yet they are just ignoring that and continuing to say it's their design. And I just got to repeat what I said a moment ago. Yeah, this person, K seems to have no idea what they're talking about. Now, to be fair to you guys, the viewers, there is a lot of discourse I'm leaving out for like the last three hours or so. There's been a bit of discourse between Mary and K, but specifically K has been making all these tweets to various people uh, talking about this situation. And I'm not going to cover all that because, again, this has been going on for like three to four hours. I'm trying to give you the most relevant stuff here. I apologize if I missed something very relevant, though. There's a lot to go over doing my best. So here's another standout area. K seems to deny that they issued a copyright strike. Says strike. I did not put a strike on anything. I just claimed that the video contained the character and was the same as my design, neither more nor less. And that's very odd when Mary claims to have a copyright strike and not only claims that, but does indeed show proof and shows the name takedown issued by them. I mean, <laughs> what a mess. And you know what? Even if, let's say, if K somehow didn't realize that they were going to issue a copyright strike in doing this, that's still a massive amount of negligence on top of the fact that, you know, we could debate this whole OC thing as well. You know what? I got to walk that back already. 
because this has actually been going on for about seven hours. I feel so bad that Mary is having to waste her time dealing with this nonsense. If this were me, as soon as I got that copyright strike, I would be seeking legal counsel. Now, Mary made this tweet, and it sounds like she kind of wasn't looking at uh, any sort of legal strategy here, but I did see a few tweets after this one where it seems like she may be shifting that idea. Here's what she says on this tweet, though. Responding to someone saying this is a nightmare and I hope YouTube swiftly gets this fixed, gets this resolved. Mary says, it should be back up in 10 days unless they decide to try and sue me, which I doubt. The only issue is, uh, excuse me, the only issue is they are saying they'll keep striking it even if it gets put back by YouTube. This gives you merit in court, in my opinion. I'm not a lawyer, but as far as I understand, a DMCA takedown notice needs to have a fair use assessment. They're flat out saying, at least the argument that I would make here, is that they're not even considering fair use. They're not even making an assessment because they already got denied in this alleged hypothetical, right? They get denied and they issue it again, providing no reasoning, no justification, no fair use analysis, no legal backing for them to be doing that. I mean, this is pretty set in stone, in my opinion. Now, easier said than done. Even just uh, issuing legal filings, even if you have the law on your side, is expensive and time-consuming and stressful. But this is a situation, in my opinion, where you definitely seek legal counsel immediately. So Mary then says, I can just hope YouTube will bar them from doing any more strikes if that happens. And that's why I just repeat what I said. Don't rely on YouTube. Get legal counsel, please. What concerns me is this set of tweets here because it sounds like mary was considering legal action here but the tweet that we read right before this seems to have been posted after this is on the 4th of july the tweet we read a moment ago was from july 5th so i uh i'm not too sure and again this is a complicated situation they've been at this for hours upon hours so i might be missing some things but mary says here What's the point of trying to take down my video when it's going to go back up in 30 days? Kay says, if I see that it's not edited, I suppose I will claim a design change again. Sorry, but the design I repeat is mine and you are benefiting from someone else's design. Mary says, how about this? Give me your legal name and address in a private message so we can take this to court. Uh, well, Kay says, the message that has come to you from YouTube with the deletion of the video has all my data. The message that has come to you from YouTube with the deletion of the video has all my data. Wait, did they, they just repeated themselves? Uh, okay. In case there is something legal, YouTube has my data because I provided them to claim. And Mary says, all I have is your email address. I'd like you to provide me with your legal name and address. I followed you so you can DM it to me now. And um, I can understand what Mary is, is getting at. They don't want to go through YouTube. They just want to proceed forward with litigation, it sounds like. But Kay is not entirely wrong here either. I am on Mary's side from what I've seen. To be completely fair to Kay, too, I haven't looked into this full situation, but from what I've seen, Kay really has no ground to stand on here. From what I've seen, uh, well, let, let me continue on with this part. Kay is not entirely wrong that YouTube should have Kay's information. So if Mary does get legal counsel, Mary can forward that counteraction notification. Either Mary can do it or their counsel can do it through YouTube. And then YouTube forwards it to the claimant. In this case, the claimant would be K. And then K has X amount of days to respond to that counter notification. If they don't respond, the video will be reinstated to Mary's channel. Uh, and if K does respond, then the legal action will move forward and they'll enter litigation. That's my understanding of this, not just as someone looking from the outside, but as someone who has been through copyright disputes before and won. And in closing, let's skip forward to the most recent tweets from Mary. We got this one, the context. Let's take a look. K, again, as I mentioned earlier, has been tweeting for hours to various people about this. Here's one such tweet that uh, translates to, according to Google, even with people saying bad things, I keep explaining what's going on. I continue to politely ask Mary. Uh, no, you did not politely ask Mary. From what I've seen, you started by issuing a copyright strike. Maybe you should have reached out to Mary to begin with, but you don't want to listen to the logic, it sounds like. So what is there to even say at this point? This is why I say just get legal counsel. This person doesn't seem to want to listen to reason. They continue to write, uh, if she can please change even the smallest design so that it stops affecting me, it's not affecting you anyways. This doesn't affect you at all. You've greatly affected Mary. You have damaged her channel. And you can even argue that there is potential reputational damages because you're implying that Mary stole your design and doesn't know what fair use is. She's a creator with hundreds of thousands of subs and you're implying that she doesn't follow fair use principles. You can argue repu excuse me, reputational or defamatory damages as well as well as the whole copyright shenanigans going on here. I mean, this is insane. <laughs> I can't get over this. I, oh my gosh, man. 
it stops <laughs> so that it stops affecting me and also that my design is much older it is not understood <laughs> people are just trying to explain this left and right here and then we get that response from mary right so mary says you are not uh, you are allowed to ask nicely and i am allowed to say no me saying no doesn't give you the right to strike down my video with copyright takedown requests and that's where it's left off that's the last tweet i see from mary i don't know what k is doing still what a mess so again as i said in the beginning of this video i will link mary's twitter and youtube channel in the description if you want to take a look and send her some support i'm not too familiar with her to be honest but i mean her pinned tweet alone is very nice very nice art style so I'll probably be taking a look at her channel on my lunch break, seeing uh, what all she, she does over there. But yeah, it just seems like she makes innocent, nice art. And this is a terrible situation to be going through. I hope it resolves in her favor if the law is on her side. Caveat. And again, from what I've seen, it seems like it is. But I don't want to act like I am the arbiter of truth. Again, I haven't looked into the situation fully. It's been going on for hours. Here's my take for the most part with what I've seen. I hope you enjoy this video. And uh, yeah, man. We'll see how this develops. And Mary, if by any chance you watch this, and maybe I'll reach out to her too. We'll see how things develop. Uh, maybe I won't. Maybe I will. But if Mary watches this by any chance, know that there are a lot of people who probably would stand with you if you proceed for litigation. And, uh, you know, send me an email maybe. Send to hey at gmail.com, S-E-N-D-T-O-H-G-I at gmail.com. And uh, we could see about getting you some support in this situation. And that's all to be said here, I suppose. Thank you all for tuning in. And a shout out to the very kind people who promoted my earlier segment about TLOU2. Shouts out to Phantom, NPC, Gem, to Zippos, Shogun, Charizard, Kitsune, Annie, May, We All Love in the Matrix, Baku Girl, Mr. Anime 343, and Pot on the Brain. But thank you all for tuning in. Thank you for your support. And I'll catch you next time.